Okay, create a composer package part two. In the first one, we brought in our code, we created a Git repository, and then we pushed that repository to GitHub where our code is now public and people can access it. What we want to do now is actually create a package. And the way we do that is we run a command called composer init. And there's certain pieces of information which we need to supply in order for this package to be pulled in and used by other packages. And so let's make a start on that now. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience. And if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. All of this will be done in the terminal, so I'm in the root of the project, and the command is composer init, I-N-I-T, and then it'll just ask me a few questions, and it will suggest some defaults. Some I'll leave the same, and some I shall change. So I'm going to call it Clark Tech forward slash performance hyphen counter. So the name here is important because when I push this to packages, this will be the name which is used to find it. Okay, hit go on there. Next, I need a description. I'm going to get this from GitHub where I actually uh, initially created the repository. And here to the right hand side inside that repository, we have an about title and there it has that description. So you don't need to do that, but it's just something I prefer to do, keep everything uniform. Author, so it'll show your name and a suggested email address. This is the email address which is set in your git config for the project. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to just hit enter and it will stick with that. Minimum stability, so your choices here are dev, alpha, beta, RC for release candidate or stable. And what that means is when it's checking uh, packages to pull into this package, it's saying what is the minimum stability which you will accept. I'm actually going to go with stable, but I'd say the most common ones are either dev or stable. So stable, package type, library, project, meta package or composer plugin. I describe this one as a library because mainly it's code which is intended to be used in other projects, other packages. License, I will go with MIT. Okay, next question, define your dependencies. Would you like to define your dependencies uh, interactively? I'm gonna say no, because I'll do that individually. And then it'll ask you the same question about dev dependencies again, I'll say no, I'll just do that on my own. Add PSR for autoload mapping, maps namespace, Clark Tech performance counter to the entered relative path. I would hit yes, but I don't like the way it's spelled Clark Tech there. I prefer it to be Clark and then Tech with an uppercase T. So I'm going to actually do that myself. I'll say N to skip. Okay, and then it shows you what it's proposing to create. And that all looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to say yes. Okay, and then if I go and look at my composer JSON file, you see that it has now changed. And so I'll go down them one by one. We have the name, we have our description, we have our type, we have our license, the author, minimum stability, and then dependencies. I'm just going to use some things from my uh, local history here in order to replace the bits that got lost then. So auto loading, I want to keep that. I'm happy with the namespacing set up there. And also I had a dev requirement, which was just PHP unit. And we'll put that back in there. And I'd say that that is my composer JSON complete for now. So what I'm gonna do is commit those changes. So git add all and then git commit with the message. I'll just say initialize composer. That looks good. And then we'll push this, git push origin main. I need to enter my password, but you may not need to do that. And so away it goes. And believe it or not, with the information that we've entered there, this can now be used in other people's projects. It's not unpackaged yet, so what we need to do is pull it into a project as a VCS repository. 
So I think what I'll do next is just go and create a little dummy project where I can test that theory and make sure that I can actually pull this down from GitHub into my project. Behind the scenes, I've gone ahead and created this demo project here. I've called it Use Perf Counter Demo, but you can call it whatever you want. And this is just to demonstrate to you how we can actually import our performance counter repository uh, library into another project. And so at the moment, as it stands, it hasn't yet been submitted to Packagist. So we have to go and grab this directly from the GitHub repository. And what we need to do there then is add a repositories key then square brackets, and then curlies. And there's two pieces of information we need here. What type of repository is it? So type will be VCS, version control system. And then the next piece of information will be the URL. And so in order to get that, just need to go back to GitHub. So I'll just grab that from the address bar, paste that in there, and then there's just one other thing we need to do, and that is to actually require it. So we'll say require, and this time we need to give it the actual name that we gave it. And so that was Clark Tech forward slash performance hyphen counter. The next piece of information we need here is the actual version. So I've not officially given it a version yet, but we can just go and get the main branch in order to grab a branch we need to prefix it with dev, D-E-V, then hyphen main. And so that will get us the main branch instead of a specific version per se. But we are gonna come on to versioning maybe in the next recording or the one after that. And so with that stuff in place, I should be able to go ahead and do composer install. Okay, great stuff, as you can see there, uh, it has downloaded Clark Tech Performance Counter and the main branch of that. So far so good, we've now created a package which we're able to import into other projects by adding some entries into the Composer JSON. We specify the repository, we say where it's located and we give the name. That's okay, but ideally what we would like to do is be able to go and look it up on Packagist, which is sort of the standard PHP package repository uh, we want to be able to go and search for it. For example, if I wanted to go and get Symphony Routing here, I can just search, I'll get a load of results, I can click on that, and then with just a simple command, Composer requires Symphony forward slash routing, I can then pull that into my project. I want to be able to say Composer require Clark Tech forward slash performance counter and be able to pull it into my project like so. And so that is what we're going to take care of in the next one. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. And also, if you're interested in my full-length courses, then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description.